Hi everyone, uh, we are going to have some fun on this video. So our team has put together a really great new design for creating campaigns. We think it's great, but I'm really interested to know what you guys think um, so I can decide like how much to prioritize this in our task list because we have some great features we want to build too um, and only one t team to build all of this. So your feedback would be greatly appreciated both on you know just how excited are you for this is it just us or is it you two? Do you feel the same? Also, any specific reactions you have will help us make any tweaks that we need to make before we go into final production. So what I'll be showing you today is really just a prototype. Um, it could look exactly like this when it goes live or, you know, maybe there's some ways we can improve it. Let us know. So little history here. When you build a campaign with social monials, if you haven't done it yet, we've had the feedback from you guys that it's a little bit tough to do. Um, there are some you know, obviously some hurdles to jump over to get to the final result when you're happy and launched and everything goes great. Um, so we want to shorten the distance between concept to execution. We want to make it fun and engaging for you so it's not a chore um, and you're not presented with too many decisions, only the essential ones. So that being said, I'm going to show you very briefly because some of you have never created a campaign. Here's the current method of creating a campaign in Sociomonials. You click add new you're immediately presented with a bunch of templates, um, which is very time saving. There's a lot of templates. I think we have over 70 now. And um, one of the problems with these are though, the, one of the things that I personally don't like is that all of the different campaign types, and we have 11 different types of campaigns ranging from viral sweepstakes to photo contests. They're all kind of blended in here and it's kind of tough to tell what each one is just because it's all thrown together. So if I like this design, I'm kind of stuck with the fact that it's a photo contest when I might like the design, but I really want to create a viral sweepstakes. So it's not immediately clear how I would go about doing that. So once I choose a campaign, you can just say use this template and it's very nice that it will create the entire campaign for you. Um, and all you need to do is kind of go through the settings um, and make it, you know, right for your brand. Um, so the settings page is a little long and there's a lot of check boxes, a lot of radio buttons that was a little, um, off putting for some people. So, um, it's just a little dry and it, it looks like work, right? Then you jump into the design editor and while yes, you can get everything you need to get done, um, right here, it's still just a little cumbersome, you know, like if you click on the header, it will open up. A, um, an accordion on the left, you can also manually just open and close whichever section you want to modify, and it just drops down in this accordion. So again, you're presented with a whole number of different check boxes and radio buttons. Um, so I think we've improved upon this. Um, so let's jump into the new design. So now when you click add campaign, it's going to take you here. So the first step, and as you can see, the progress bar is a little different up here. Um, the first step, it's going to ask you what type of campaign you want to create. And like I said, we have 11 different types of campaigns. So if you want a viral sweepstakes, you choose that. Um, here you can see what it looks like when you hover over. Um, we're going to create a quick demo video for each campaign type. So maybe hopefully 60 seconds or less, you can see a demonstration of the campaign and hear a little bit from me on why I believe you should use this campaign and in which situations it makes the most sense. Um, so once you click choose me, it will take you to the next step. So once you choose the campaign type, it's going to show you your template options. We're going to change the name from templates to themes. And the main reason we're doing that is what choosing the campaign type allows us to do is limit the um, themes that you can choose from on this page. And trust me, there will still be a ton. Most themes will still apply. So what it will do is instead of being limited, like let's say you choose a viral sweepstakes, you are gonna have a ton of themes to choose from, which will include designs that were previously only given to photo contests. So those will be adapted to now being able to be used for viral sweepstakes. So instead of maybe only having 15 giveaway themes, now you're probably going to have closer to 50 or more. 
So you'll be able to see those 50 themes here. Um, and the reason we're calling them themes instead of templates is it's more of a design theme. Um, and there are also some settings that apply only to these themes. People are used to the term theme because they have WordPress sites. So many, like more than half of the websites out there are WordPress. So we like the concept of theme versus um, campaign templates. So once you choose a campaign theme, then you would move on to the next step. So finally, you're greeted with the final option for setting up the theme, which is to confirm your theme defaults. Depending on the theme that you choose, we will give you a list of options, and there's a ton of defaults that we already have in place. So this is going to allow us to do things like having themes for each industry. So when you do a viral sweepstakes, if you're a realtor, how cool would it be to have like a new listing theme? So when you click that, we might have special questions that we, that we ask you based on the theme you selected. So we already know that it's a viral sweepstakes and it's a new listing campaign because of the theme you selected. So a new field might appear here where it asks for the property address. And that will allow us in the next step to already have the design totally finished for you. So in that regard, it's saving you a lot of steps and really custom tailoring the questions to the theme that you selected. So once you enter this information here, it should be pre-selected for you, but you'll have an opportunity um, to like add your different prizes. You can add multiple prizes and we will automatically drop those prizes into your design, which currently we do not do. Um, and then down below, instead of having a bunch of radio buttons and check boxes, you just have a, a list of customizations and restrictions that we preset based on your theme. So now all you're doing is reviewing the selections for your theme instead of having to go through and check every box, select every radio button. If you see something you don't like, you can click the edit button here and we'll have a slide in come in where you have a, a big canvas to make any changes that you wanna make and we'll make it as simple as possible. So once you're done with this step and you've um, confirmed, confirmed your theme defaults, then you move on to our new design editor. So this new design editor is drag and drop. It's much more modern and you've got a list of blocks on the left. <clears throat> Excuse me. So now you'll also notice that we have a column on the right. So instead of having all these cascading accordions on the left, all you have to do is drag over a text block and then what happens is on the right side, you will be greeted with the element settings. So whatever you see over here only applies to the element on the left that you have selected. And you'll be able to drag it down, drag it up and move things around. So given the text element on the right, you would only see options for that particular element. If you wanna make changes to the overall page, you would click on page and then this tab will only have page level settings. So if you wanted to, let's say, um, change the background, well, that's more of a page wide setting. So you would have background options here. Once you're done um, setting up the campaign you want, uh, the design you want to set, you would move on to the final tab, which is promote. So in this final step, it just it looks a lot more fun and we give you a lot more options to get your campaign in front of your audience and even new audiences. So to do that, we've given you more options. You can copy the link to the campaign, create a QR code, um, add this as a tab to your fan page, email your list with our template. So this will generate a custom email template based on the theme you selected and the campaign type you selected just to save you a whole bunch of time. You can embed the campaign on your website as an iframe. You can place a button on your website, place a sticky tab on your website, a pop-up on your website, and it will generate that code for you. And finally, you can publish it to your social media feeds and you're done. So th that's it. We want to hear back from you. Would this make it easier for you? Would this make it more fun? Most importantly, would this make it more likely for you to run campaigns for your business? I would like to see every one of you running a, an evergreen campaign year round, something like a testimonial campaign, a referral campaign like a refer a friend, that should be running year round. On top of that, you should also be running either monthly or at least seasonal contests 
you know, if it's Mother's Day, run a Mother's Day contest. If it's summertime, run something that's summer appropriate for your particular business. Give us your feedback. The best way to do that is in our Facebook group. If you don't already belong, please join and let us know what you think. You'll see a post there that's pinned that is asking for feedback on this particular new design concept. Thanks a lot.